Welcome to Parts and Labor in Logan Square, where rock reigns supreme and food is at the forefront. And while the original concept was based on a classic griddle burger, they've actually become known for their black bean burger and several other unique sandwich creations. So let's see how their chef puts them all together. I just want to say, when I first walked through the door here, I felt right at home. I love this rock vibe. <laughs> Obviously, you guys have some incredible food. Tell me a little bit about the concept of Parts and Labor. Well, I think simplicity is really what we're going for. You know, we've got the full bar. We've got a restaurant. If you want just a place to sit down and drink and watch the game, mm -hmm. we've got that. If you want to get some food and enjoy our nice back patio while the weather's nice, we've got that too. Yeah, I love it. The back patio is gorgeous. It's so cool. And I bet just the vibe that you guys have here, but it used to be a garage, right? Yeah. Yeah, and be. like it turned into, now you have those garage doors you can open. Yeah. So it's really a cool scene. But obviously you guys are really known for your food and these awesome sandwiches, burgers. Tell me a little bit about your burger and sandwich menu. It's, uh, again, it's just simplicity. Our standard burger is the classic combo, which we sell the most of. It's two beef and pork patties, lettuce, mayonnaise, pickles, Spanish onions on a brioche bun, and they are awesome. Okay, so it's really that classic diner burger, but it's just doing it right and doing it well. Yeah, exactly. And this black bean burger, it's crazy because I see this and it looks like, once again, the classic <laughs> diner burger, but this is gonna make vegetarians or people that don't want to yeah. eat very happy. So tell me about how you make the black bean patties. Well, we start by boiling a whole bunch of dried black beans with onions. Then we mash them up with flour, panko, and cumin, which I believe is what really sets off the flavor in these. And then otherwise prepare it just like the classic burger, mayonnaise, pickles, onions, and lettuce on a brioche bun. This one doesn't look as basic. Now, what is this? Well, this is our brunch burger. It's a variation of our classic combo. It's only available during brunch. Like I said, it's just a classic combo, only instead of mayonnaise, we use a smear of cream cheese, and it comes with bacon and a fried egg. And we wow. also drizzle a little bit of maple syrup on top of it. Doesn't sound so classic. That <laughs> is very unique and looks very tasty. So normally when you have like that classic diner burger, you use like that fluffy brioche roll and you're using the Toronto ones yeah. here. So why do those complement these burgers so well? They're just better. You know, they have a better shape, they grill better, and I just think they taste better. So there you go, it's just better. <laughs> you, you go with the best, right? Exactly. I love it. So speaking of the best, since this looks like the best black bean burger I've ever seen, I'm gonna dig in. 